Can anyone tell me why we had to rush in so quickly with these packets? Didn't you know, Chef Jeff? A lion was seen yesterday in the jungle, close to the jungle cafe. Well, I don't believe it. Everyone's talking about it, so it's probably best not to take any chances. True. I noticed a fencer was trying to set a new world record. For the 100 metres. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. I was in a hurry because I'm sure I heard the lion roar just behind me. Well, nobody else heard it. Well, I didn't hear anything. Did you guys? Hmm? I can't help it if you guys didn't hear it. I didn't want to take the chance of being eaten by the lion. <laughs> what, what? Eaten by a lion? Oh, no. Who's going to be eaten by a lion? Not the safari kids. Not me. I hope. Sure. At least I'm high up in the tree and the lion won't get me. I wish that lions ate vegetables and fruit like we do. Then it wouldn't want to eat us. Yeah, what, what? Shoo! Hmm. Shoo! I wouldn't worry. I'm sure Trakitani's got everything under control, huh? There'll be no carnivores dining at the Jungle Cafe today. <laughs> What's a carnivore? Carnivores are animals that eat other animals. Oh. Can you think of any other carnivores? What about a crocodile? Yes. It eats antelope. That's right. <laughs> right. Any others? Birds. Oh. They eat worms and things. Oh, and owls eat poor little mice. Lizards eat flies and insects. Antelope and cows eat grass and plants and stuff like that. Are they also called carnivores? Because I don't think a plant could be mistaken for an animal. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Fence. Animals that eat plants and grass are called herbivores. That means plant eating. You know the other day we had that delicious vegetable curry? Mmm. Mm. Were we being herbivores then? Well, not really. What did you have for dinner that night? Um, oh yes, pop and stew. Right, and the stew was made of? I think it was sheep. Yes, so it's an animal. So you had vegetables and meat that day. So what does that make Tabo? Carnivore, herbivore? There is a name for animals that eat plants and other animals. They're called omnivores. Oh. Mm. Most people and some animals are omnivores. For example, uh, some types of duck eat water plants as well as fish. And some animals eat vegetable curry and stew. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a carnivore. I like to eat meat all the time. I hate cabbage and carrots. I can do without plants. <laughs> well, welcome to the Chef Jeff Buzzing Show. Question number one. What is the most important food that we eat? Meat. Beep, no. Millie meal? Beep, no. Chips. <laughs> In fact, the most important food that we eat is the plant. Oh, Chef Jeff, it can't be. Oh, but offensive it is. <laughs> Plants are the start of what's called the food chain. The food chain? Yes. Um, let me see. Uh, okay, look at these pictures of the jungle animals. We are going to build a food chain. So, what would eat grass? Hmm. Hmm. An antelope. Yes, an antelope would eat grass. And what might eat the antelope? A crocodile. <laughs> okay, I suppose the crocodile could grab the antelope while it's drinking water. And what do you think would eat the crocodile? Yuck! I don't think anyone would want to eat a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's true. Okay, so carnivores are at the end of the food chain. So the grass is eaten by the antelope, and the antelope is eaten by the crocodile. And that's the food chain. But you see, the very first thing in the food chain is the plant. So it's very, very important. If there was no grass for the antelope to eat, the crocodile would have no food. How's it going, Marvin? Oh, fine. Fine. Uh, are you catching a quick snooze? No, I was thinking. Ah, oh, excuse me. 
With you, it's difficult to tell. You get that sort of look on your face. Sort of like lights are on, but nobody's home. It's difficult to tell whether they're awake or asleep. What were you thinking? Well, names for things. You know, like uh, what we call them. Ah, I mm. see. Mm. Now, do you see that big brown thing over there mm -hmm. with the green stuff on top? Mm. It's called the tree. Mm. Now, that, that big brown thing on there on the ground there, mm -hmm. it's called a hyena. Mm. Now, you see that Yes, one? yes, 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 yes. I know that, Mervyn. I was just being helpful. I mean, I mean, I was thinking about other things. Oh, I know I'm going to regret this. Okay, Marvin, what were you thinking about? Well, okay. We call animals that eat other animals carnivores, right? Mm-hmm. Animals that eat grass and plants are herbivores. And animals that eat both are omnivores. Mm -hmm. So I thought, since there are people and meerkats like me who eat mostly sweets, we should be called sweetivores. There's no such a word. Anyway, too many sweets are bad for you, but it, 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 if it makes you happy, I will call you Marvin the Sweetie for all. Oh, thanks, Marvin. But, but wait a minute. I actually eat more chocolate, so maybe I should be called Marvin the Chocolatey Ball. Oh. And then again, I also eat a lot of toffee, oh. so I should be called a... Uh... You could be called uh... a pain in the neck. I'm going. I've got a question for you. If plants are the start of a food chain, what do plants eat? That's a very good question. Do plants even need to eat? Oh yes, all living things need food. So what do plants eat and how do they get the food? They don't have any arms. <laughs> no. Uh, let's ask the old tree. You want to know what plants eat? Well, I can tell you how I get my food. You see, I have roots that go deep into the ground and they're spread out far because they need to take in water from the soil and also things called nutrients. Now, the water and nutrients go up my roots into my trunk and from there they go to all my leaves. My leaves are like busy little factories. They take in a gas called carbon dioxide from the air through my tiny little holes. The thing that makes my leaves green is a chemical called chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll takes energy from the sun. I've got lots of leaves and they are flat and broad so that they can trap as much of the sun's energy as possible. I use the sun's energy, carbon dioxide, water and nutrients to form something called glucose, which is the food I like to eat. Now this whole process is called photosynthesis. Yes, photosynthesis. It's not really a hard word if you say it over and over again. So Chef Jeff, is that why you keep all of those plants over there? For them to get energy from the sun to make their own food? That's right. If plants were kept in the dark, they wouldn't be able to absorb the energy from the sun and photosynthesis wouldn't take place. One thing I'm not sure of, what's carbon dioxide? We breathe in oxygen which we need to use. And like lots of living things, we breathe out carbon dioxide. <sighs> which plants use? <laughs> ah, something else that's interesting. In the process of photosynthesis, plants use carbon dioxide to make oxygen. And we need this oxygen to survive. In goes oxygen. <sighs> out goes carbon dioxide. Plants are very, very important. Unlike animals, plants make their own food. And all animals, even carnivores, are dependent on plants. Plants also make oxygen, which we use to breathe, to stay alive. Just one question, Jeff. Yes, Yolandi? You said plants make their own food, but that plant over there eats insects. They go in and never come out. <laughs> that is called a Venus Fly trap. Remember how I told you that uh, plants were diverse? Well, they have to find different ways of surviving in different places. Now, this one has a very unusual way of surviving for a plant. The Venus flytrap comes from South America, and where it grows, there's not a lot of nutrients in the soil. And remember, plants need nutrients to help them make food or glucose. 
so it has to find another way to get those nutrients, so it catches insects. Some of these plants smell like rotten meat. Ugh. That's to attract the insects. Once the insects fly into the leaf, they touch these hairs that are attached to the leaf. And those hairs send a signal to the leaf and the leaf starts to close. These hairs are very sticky and they don't allow the insect to escape. Are these Venus flytrap carnivorous? No, that's a good guess, but they have a special name. Because they eat insects, they're called insectivores. I'm glad they don't have people-sized Venus flytraps. Plants are amazing. And also very important. You remember, they were the start of the food chain. Are we in the food chain? Uh, hopefully right at the end. <laughs> That's why Fancy ran so fast when he came into the jungle cafe. He didn't want to be eaten by a carnivore. <laughs> Otherwise, they could be eaten up. I would miss them so much. They are all my best friends. Oh, and me. Would a lion eat me? What, what? I think I must stay in this tree for a while. Sure. So you've heard about plants and how they make their own food and how plants are the first thing in the food chain. Can you think of a longer chain? See you next time. Bye. Bye. Photosynthesis is very good. It's how plants make all our food. We need the plants so we can grow and thrive. Without the nutrients, we won't survive.